How's it going guys? JP here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Horror. This is year number three. Today is day number 19. Uh, we're a little bit delayed. We missed the last couple days, so we're playing catch up now. I had a feeling this was going to happen. It's really hard to do these videos every day uh, for such a long period of time. So uh, this is day 19, and the film we're going to be talking about is Orca the Killer Well from the year 1977 with the tagline of the terror just beneath the surface. So this film is obviously one of those Jaws ripoffs from the era, the 70s. Uh, after Jaws came out, it seemed like there was a lot of these type of films. And apparently this is uh, one of the better ones. So this one follows a fisherman who captures animals alive, like great white sharks, and he sells them to people who want to put them in their uh, aquariums and stuff like that. Uh, these really rich people that pay a lot of money for this stuff. And he starts learning about killer whales, and he thinks that people would pay a lot of money for these. So uh, he learns what he can uh, from the uh, some girl who uh, teaches at a university or something like that. Uh, he gets out on his boat with his crew and he attempts to capture a well. Just doesn't go very good though because he ends up killing the well and the other well in the water who just happens to be the well that he killed's mate is now after him and wants vengeance. It goes a lot into detail about the way that uh, the um, mates uh, are very... Uh, monogamous and that they stick together throughout uh, their entire lives and stuff like that. A lot of uh, stuff to kind of let you understand why these whales are acting like that. Um, overall, you know, this one, I, I, I did like it. I'm not going to say I didn't like it, but at the same time, it's just something about killer whales that don't look that intimidating to me. I mean, like Free Willy and stuff. Um, I obviously know that they are, you know, killers, killer whales, and that they are, you know, pretty um, hardcore when it comes to, you know, uh, the the animals that they kill in the in the uh, underwater and in the wildlife and stuff. Like, I know that they are, you know, killers, but for some reason they just look like nice. So <laughs> I just can't. It's hard to um, take them uh, as if they're as threatening as like a great white shark in Jaws. So I was having kind of an issue with that for some reason. It kind of really took me out of the film. And also Jaws made it a better excuse for the people to be in the water and being attacked in the water and stuff. This one it feels like um, they went took it a little overboard with the, the, the amount of damage that the whale can do to this village town. Um, so that was kind of, you know, I don't know. Overall, I did enjoy it. Um, I just didn't love it like I thought I would because I thought I was gonna love this film, but it was only pretty good. I, you know, it wasn't it wasn't fantastic like I was thinking it was going to be. So uh, overall, I give this film a six and a half out of ten. See you guys next time with another review. Peace.